YouTube, how's it going? The Goat House is back, and I got some wide receiver tiers for you guys today. I found this template on Tier Maker. There's gonna be a link in the description for all these types of videos. We've done quarterbacks, running backs, uh, just ranking the teams, putting them in tiers, and then team defenses. I've seen that, that template, so I went ahead and did that. And now we're doing the receivers. Um, so I got this template, but I changed the tiers up a little bit. I made the bottom part average. So we wouldn't be here all day. So I'm just going to rank the receivers that fit any of those categories. So there will be some left on the board at the end here. Uh, and I don't want anybody to get confused. So if you see a receiver you like or you don't agree being towards the bottom, doesn't mean they're bad. It's just the way I have the tiers. I'm going from average to elite. So a lot of solid receivers is what we're talking about today. Uh, but plenty of NFL predictions for the upcoming season on the channel. Plenty more to come. And then we got full coverage in season. 20K is our subscriber goal. Please help us out by clicking that like button, clicking that subscribe button, checking out our Twitter. You see it in the bottom right. Also, a link in the description for that and our Instagram. Uh, let's let's start with uh, let's start putting these receivers in tiers. There's a lot of them here. Tyree Kill, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna place in a tier. Uh, Willie Sneed, I'm gonna leave off as well. Corey Davis is one that will make his way on this list. I'm just trying to figure out where. Where will Corey Davis be? I think last year you could say he's an average receiver, so I actually think he steps up a little bit this year. So we'll put him above average, but he's still pretty close to being an average receiver. Is that door set? No, we're not going to move him in anywhere. DeAndre Hopkins, pretty simple one. We're going to put elite, maybe the best receiver in football. And there's our first elite receiver, Antonio Brown. Could still be the best receiver in football. My my vote be for DeAndre Hopkins at this point, but uh, Antonio Brown is still an elite receiver. We'll see how he does away from Pittsburgh. You know, I'm predicting. I, I don't think he'll have any sort of drop off. Really, maybe maybe if he does, it's a little bit. Um, <clears throat> next person I want to list is Will Fuller, who I actually really like. I like Will Fuller's game. He's a home run hitter. Um, you know, he he's a threat. You know, he helps. That offense, you know, he helps DeAndre Hopkins, he helps Deshaun Watson, if he's in there. You know, we need him to be healthy. I'm going to put him at the above average. I know he's better. He's probably a, you know, talent-wise, probably very solid, but he just seems like he can't finish the season right now. So that's where I got him. Uh, Amari Cooper easily makes his way on this list, but where? Very good season last year. You know, he's always been a good receiver, but I honestly kind of thought a little, just a little bit disappointing, but last year was just fantastic route running was was great I need to see another year of that I'm gonna put him at very solid but he's actually pretty close to being on that borderline elite another year like last year full season like that he's making his way making his way there is that Foster not gonna rank him um T.Y. Hilton we are gonna move into the borderline elite section um you know a receiver that can do it all don't know he's you know he's he's easily on this borderline elite class for me this group but he's not in the level of DeAndre Hopkins Antonio Brown so I couldn't put him there but I like T.Y. Hilton a lot that's where he goes and then we got Julio Jones Julio Jones I'm going to put in the elite section I think Hopkins and Brown are a little better but uh, Julio Jones definitely makes his way in the elite section definitely belongs there A.J. Green A.J. Green has been known to be elite at times um, hurt last year, still had a pretty darn good season. That's tough. Did have some drops the last couple of years. I'm going to put borderline elite, but he's very close to being in the elite section. Uh, Emmanuel Sanders, I believe, is next year. Let's see. Um, that's tough. I'm going to, I think some of the other Broncos receivers step up. Maybe he, ooh, that's tough. He was having a really good year last year. I'm going to put him above average. Uh, Michael Gallup, I will put in average. Allen Robinson, I like Allen Robinson a lot. Good route runner, uh, great possession receiver down the down the sideline. Good strength too as well. You know he's not as good as Amari Cooper, but he's not too far off. I put him in the very solid group. Devontae Adams is borderline elite, I'd say. He's not as good as AJ Green or Ty Hilton, but he's borderline elite touchdown machine, getting better and better. Mike Williams, we've seen him step up big time as the year went on. He was kind of just an average guy. Kind of at times was above average. I think he has a bigger role this year, so we're going to put him above average. Uh, Deshaun Jackson, maybe not the same as he used to be, but I still like him above average, still a weapon. Uh, Cortland Sutton, 
I like Cortland Sutton's potential a lot. We're going to put him under average, though. I like his potential. I think he'll make his way up there. Uh, I don't know if Randall Cobb goes anywhere here. Julian Edelman, I like under very solid. feel pretty comfortable with him there. Um, is that that is Jamison Crowder? I thought it was Paul Richardson at first glance, but it's Jamison Crowder who's on the Jets. Um, does do I rank Crowder? Yeah, I'll put Crowder under average, I suppose. That's tough. I almost don't really. It's a tough one. Keenan Allen. Keenan Allen's another tough one. Um, glad to see him staying healthy recently. Man, this is tough. You know, he's he's a sneaky receiver. He doesn't rack up a whole bunch of yards compared to some of the other guys, but it's not always about the stats. Uh, I mean, I think he's probably, I mean, I got Amari uh, Cooper and very solid, but so I'm, I'm probably going to put him around. I think he's around the same talent as Amari Cooper. So I put him there, and then we got Golden Tate, who I'm definitely putting in above average, probably the higher end of this group. Uh, and then we got Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas is another tough one. He had an elite season last year. Does that make him an elite receiver? Uh, you know, it could be. He has a lot of the traits you look for. Very good body control. I think it's my favorite part about Michael Thomas. He's probably the toughest one, though, because one elite season and then a bunch of or one or two borderline elite seasons. Does that make him elite? How will he be this year? This is probably the toughest one here. Interesting. Something I just noticed. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to put Michael Thomas in elite. But then we're going to put this Michael Thomas at the top of the borderline elite. I'm not sure why there's two. I'm not sure why there's two on here. But that's what I did with them. To split them up. No. Uh, seriously, I'm going to I'm gonna put him in elite. I think it's risky putting him there compared to the other guys. We're going to put this guy at the bottom here. We're not ranking some of these guys. Well, we'll leave it the way it is. I'm putting Michael Thomas in elite. That, that's how I feel. I think these guys are better. But. I expect him to have a similar season. If not, it should be a little better. So he's elite. I really like his body control on the sideline. Love it. Might be the best, one of the best, one of the most elite in football. Uh, and that's, you know, a lot of guys don't have that talent anymore. Uh, Tyler Boyd. I really like Tyler Boyd's game. He can continue to get better. I really like him in this very solid section. Marvin Jones. Marvin Jones. I like. I always liked Marvin Jones' game. I always thought he was underrated. You know, hurt last year. Mm. I'm a believer in him. I like his game. I think he's underrated. I'm going to put him very solid. Probably in the lower end of this group, though. Uh, and then we got Robert Woods. Another very solid receiver. Probably in the lower end of this group as well. Mohamed Sanu, I like under average. Kind of gets overshadowed by a guy like Julio Jones. DJ Moore. I put under average, could make his way up. Cooper Cup, is same situation. Average, could make his way up. Adam Thielen, I like a borderline elite. Could argue maybe the best route runner in football. He was looking like uh, not only an elite receiver early last year, maybe maybe even the best of last year that season. But then as um, soon as he faced you know, double coverage, you know, he kind of disappeared a little bit. But still, super good route runner, great hands, great after catch. Put him borderline elites. Odell. I, I, you know, Odell is very, very talented. I, you know, I always been a little lower on him than everyone else. I think he's very, very good. I got a borderline elite strong. You know, we're talking borderline elite, which is a very, very strong word here. So Odell kind of being out of games, kind of being a distraction. Very good. Kind of put all that together. He's probably at the high end of this borderline elite group. Just what AJ Green too. AJ Green has been elite for multiple seasons. Just a little, a couple drops I didn't like and kind of not being on the field. So those guys are the higher end of this group. Sammy Watkins, I don't think, you know, I think he could break out this year. You know what? I think because what I think he'll do this year, I'll put him under average. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald will put under above average. You know, used to be, probably was elite at one point, borderline elite a lot of his career. Uh, Stephon Diggs, I think he's right there with Thielen. Thielen has the better stats. I always felt that Diggs was better, though. I think he can do more. Uh, and he's super young, so I think he continues to get better by uh, by a good amount each year. So I'm going to put him borderline elite. Uh, and then we got Robbie Anderson. I like Anderson. Oh, boy, above average. I'll, he's He's got some top-end speed, very good at control down the sideline as well. I'm going to put him on our above average, probably the lower end of this group. Eh, mid to lower of this group. Des Bryant's really in here. Um, is it a noon one? No. Uh, next guy I want to rank, bro, is going to be Mike Evans. Mike Evans is, that's a good definition of borderline elite. Probably the higher end of this, though. 
uh, jump ball master, you know, one of those guys that you can just kind of a bailout receiver is what I like to call him, you know, don't really have another option. You definitely want to throw it where somebody can catch it because it's, it's third down in a crucial situation where you absolutely have to get the first down or it's fourth down, which it's obvious that interception would be okay in the right spot because you just need to get the first down. So you'll try anything. That's, that's that receiver you want. DJ Deandre Hopkins is probably number one. Mike Evans is probably the next guy, you know, maybe not, not that he's not a total package receiver, but maybe not, doesn't have a total package like the elite receivers up here. Uh, and then Calvin Ridley, I think he's hyped up a little bit. He's definitely good. He's definitely going to continue. Oh man, I do like his routes though. I'm going to put on our average for now, but you know, I was very close to putting him above average. I think he's hyped up a little bit. Sterling Shepard, I like his average. Could, you know, he's definitely going to have a bigger role, so it could step up, but who's throwing the ball? Kenny Stills are like average. Westbrook could step up this year. I don't know if we'll plug him in anywhere. Uh, Jarvis is a good good player to put in that very solid group. You know, very balanced receiver, but more than that, you know, he's kind of is a safe receiver, kind of always open, can run anywhere on the field. I like him in that very solid section. Alshon Jeffrey, hmm, another tough one. We'll put we'll put Alshon. You know, we see him be able to take over games. Not as flashy as some of the other guys in this group, but I put him in a very solid group. Uh, Juju. Oh, I skipped Brandon Cooks. I like Brandon Cooks very solid. Um, crazy speed. Maybe, you know, not that he wasn't good. He was definitely very good last year, but expected a little more, so maybe we'll get it this year. Uh, Juju, though, I like at Borderline Elite for this year. I think he really steps up. and I mean, he was stepped up big time last year. And he could, you could consider him based off last year right here too. But I think he's kind of makes it clear he deserves to be in the spot. Marquis Goodwin, uh, I'm going to put him under average. Kenny Galladay, I love Kenny Galladay's game. Uh, definitely see him in the very solid section. He's making his way up the the, the receiver ranking boards. Um, so that that's definitely where he belongs. I think, man, I, I actually think by the end of this year we could be talking like this. We definitely could be talking like this. I almost want to put him in here because I think this is where he's going to be at the end of the season. We're kind of predicting the 2019 season with this, too. I'm going to do it. I'm going to keep Kenny Galladay there. He's going to be borderline elite. Not really borderline. That's why, that's why these lists are tough because right now he's not not borderline elite. Um, so maybe he more belongs right here. But I do love Tyler Boyd, too. I think Tyler Boyd's up here. Um, Am- Amari Cooper's better than both of them right now. He's still very young, too. So these guys... Let's see, put Keenan Allen up here too. Which guys where I was very close? Really, those four guys, it was hard for me not putting them in this borderline elite because either because they've played there before um, or or they can definitely get there. You know, I really played there before or this year. Amari Cooper played there before, Keenan Allen. And these two, I really like their potential and where they're heading right now. So they definitely can move up there. Allen Robinson was really good down the stretch. Uh, Julian Edelman, Julian Edelman could be right there with these guys because his playoff and playoff performances every year. Um, Jarvis, I mean, if I, I'm ranking this group, I don't want to rank this too much. The video drag on forever. Um, you know, I think it's something, something along those lines right there. Something like that. Um, and then the top tier guys, I would keep it the way it is for this group. Definitely AJ Green, if it'll let me. Come on, I had it. All right, that there we go. AJ Green, Odell, Mike Evans, T. Uh, I think the two Vikings guys right next to each other. Diggs and Ty pretty similar. Diggs is real young. I think he continues to step up, um, break out even more. Uh, I think I view the two Vikings receivers pretty evenly though, very similar. And then. Yeah, you got the idea of the rest. Once we get closer to the season, we're going to rank every single position group uh, based on my my final predictions for the season, how they'll play for this season. So that'll be a little closer to the season start. We got full coverage all year. We're also going to rank things like team offense, team defense, uh, duos, units, you know, secondary, receiver units, just everything like that. Anything we can think of, any guys, anything that you guys want out there, we got you covered. There's our subscriber goal. Already showed you that. Um, but yeah, plenty of different prediction videos on the channel already. Plenty more to come, uh, for the upcoming season, full coverage in season. We got NBA draft content as well coming a mock draft already up actually. So a lot going on here at the goat house. Appreciate everyone's support. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.